breaking news. Two new mummified Admontosaurus and Nectin specimens preserve details never seen before. One specimen is a large adult, around 12 meters, and a second specimen is the first ever juvenile dinosaur mummy, around 2 years old. They discovered each toenail has hoof-like keratin coverings just like the hand. It had a fleshy comb on its head similar to Admontosaurus regalis. Little overlapping spikes ran along the hip to the back of the tail. Finally, a long skin crest runs from the neck to the hip. Think a small sail similar to how we used to draw Acrocanthosaurus. However, paleontologist Henry Sharp, who was not part of this study, warns that this crest could be taphonomic. The skin on carcasses tend to collapse as muscles underneath decay, creating this false flap of skin. This mammoth mummy is a good example of that. I foresee debates about this feature in the coming years. Even though I've been calling it a mummy, this isn't actually dried skin. They are skin impressions created by fine clay. This new study also explores how this happens, and the lead author, Paul Sorino, has the answer. The animal died in a drought and was left to dry in the sun for a few weeks, then was suddenly buried by sediment, maybe from a flash flood. The carcass is covered in a film of bacteria, which can electrostatically pull clay from the sediment, forming a thin mass covering the carcass. As the rest of the skin decays, that clay mold remains. This is thought to be only possible in oxygen-poor places, such as deep ocean trenches. No one expected this to happen in rivers. In fact, this phenomenon might be more common than we thought. They're calling this area in the Lance Formation in eastern Wyoming the Mummy Zone. The reason paleontologists haven't been finding as many skin impressions is that they never expected to find this in the first place. They might have been destroyed during excavation or lab prep. New techniques have been developed to prevent this from happening in the future. Until next time, this is the Illiterate Scholar bringing you the latest news 66 million years late.